So I wanted to share a story that happened last year in January. So January 2024, I had an incredible month. I made roughly, it was somewhere between 20 and 25%. So high double digit returns, multiple six figure returns in a single month and was my most profitable month ever in algo trading. So I had a great month, did awesome, and ended up giving back all the gains in the next two months. I think by the end of March, I gave everything back. So imagine making 25% on a seven-figure account and then giving back all those gains two months later. Tough experience, right? Very humbling and definitely discouraging. It was very discouraging for me. I almost gave up. I want to share that with you and what I'm doing now to help alleviate that. So January 2024 was an incredibly bullish month for stock indices and we were heavily weighted into stock indices. We had barely any diversification. Um, we had probably 30 plus strategies all trading intraday on S&P and NASDAQ futures. And just that month, you know, markets went up and, and trading intraday, there was just a lot of smooth trends and we caught that wave and we're able to, to crush it for the month. What we failed to test and realize was A, the volatility of our returns. We never measured how volatile our returns were and come February and March, we saw that happen. If you can make 25% in a month, you can also lose 25% in a month. So you have to think of it that way when you're building portfolios. So we failed to do a lot of risk assessment and volatility testing. We weren't aware of the magnitude of the drawdowns. We knew what the drawdowns could be, but we didn't really calculate a range of the drawdowns. Yes, the volatility of the drawdowns, but I think the biggest problem was just the hidden correlation of trading so many equities, futures, strategies, all right? Trading the same instrument, so multiple strategies for the same instrument, you can be successful. It, it worked well for us in 2023. I made over 100% in 2023 doing that same strategy. It just did not work in 2024, all right? Having 30 NQ strategies was just not working, okay? The correlation was too high. They would all lose at the same time. They'd all win at the, the same time, which is highly problematic. Now, if we kept our portfolio for all of 2024, we actually made a lot of changes. We still would have ended the, the year green, but we could not handle the volatility, all right? So maybe we were sizing too much, but regardless, the correlation, the hidden correlation on trading the same instrument was too much for us. And we fixed it by diversifying, all right? That's the moral of the story. We trade a lot more instruments now in different markets. And we still have an intraday portfolio, but it's been heavily scaled down. I think it's 10 strategies now. Um, seven of them are NQ intraday, and three of them are S&P. And then we have three other portfolios that are vastly diversified trading, you know, everything from wheat futures to interest rate futures, all that sort of stuff. And that's fared well for us in Q1 of 2025. So by diversifying and also, by diversifying it reduced obviously our correlation, it reduced the volatility in our returns, which is more important because it's more important to stay in the game than to try and risk it all. If you can stay in the game long enough, over time compounding returns will play in your favor. You just have to be able to have the bankroll for it. So diversifying helped a lot and we were able to kind of have more confidence in our strategies with the diversification. The returns, you know, the daily returns were less volatile and it was easier to, to trade day to day. But yeah, we gave back all the gains as of March, made some back uh, the rest of the year. So it was all fine and dandy, but losing that all in two months was tough. And uh, yeah, those intraday strategies did, just did not do well in February and March, 2024 and we gave back all of our gains. So yeah, it was a tough lesson, but those types of painful lessons are, are going to help you continue, if that makes sense. You know, you have to pay the price from those painful moments to continue forward 
in achieving your goal, all right? Life is always going to be full of pain, and you have to get through those moments to get to the other side. So that was one of our moments. That was one of our crashes, per se. I was watching this fund manager talking about, you know, have you had your crash yet? Have you had your crash yet? I don't know if that was ours, but it was a painful moment, and maybe it was one of our crashes that we had to experience to become better quantitative traders. So that's our story. Um, excited for 2025. Diversification is what's important. Trade every market. All right. That's what I would say. Yes. Build a strategy for stock indices or multiple strategies for stock indices, but make sure you have equal or more exposure in the same other markets. So if you have say three stock indices strategies, make sure you have three metal strategies and three energy strategies agriculture's interest rates that sort of thing that will help you trust me diversification is the only free lunch you get with with trading and investing so i hope you found value in this video if you want to learn more about automated trading algorithmic trading quantitative trading see the links in the description below and let me know in the comments below if you've gone through a rough patch if you've gone through a painful period a big drawdown and how you got through it i'd like to know in the comments below this is jacob amaral we'll see you next time peace